One of the reasons I think this is the best written fight scene in Star Wars history is because it starts with Rey embracing a symbol of the dark side and trying to strike down Snoke in anger. After hinting at a possible turn to the dark side for Rey, Kylo uses the symbol of the light side of the Force to kill Snoke, hinting that he might turn to the light side. Fight, 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 and they end up about to die in the same position. As dumb as this move is, it's kind of important that Rey drops her lightsaber so that we can see her catch or embrace it in order to save herself. She throws it to Kylo, who's able to survive by embracing the symbol of the light side of the Force. Now that he has a light side lightsaber and a dark side Praetorian Guard weapon, he discards the dark side weapon. <gasps> is he turning to the light side? What they edited out is he stops to pick up his dark side lightsaber. While it looks like Rey has a choice to make, it's actually Kylo, holding the symbols of both the light and dark side, who has a choice to make. Now that is a densely packed fight scene. I want you to join me. Believe it or not, this fight is a masterclass in expressing character through choreography. Every time Kylo blocks a strike, he relies on his lightsaber's guard and his brute strength to propel the enemy away from him. He does it here while simultaneously grabbing his opponent's weapon. His style is based on strength and control, two things he desires as a character. When two Praetorian guards nearly overpower him, Kylo's refusal to change tactics highlights his hubris through choreography. Here he blocks and feeds a weapon into his free hand, then uses his control over that weapon to stab one Praetorian guard and then block the attack of another. Once the fight has established a clear pattern of Kylo relying on brute strength and control, we see a Praetorian guard exploit that instinct for control as a weakness. When Kylo is unable to overpower the Praetorian guard, he can do nothing but struggle and wait for outside help. Now that is character through choreography. One of the greatest things this fight scene does is explore trust and distrust Kylo and Rey have for one another. Kylo arms Rey and trusts her not to kill him when she turns and faces him, lightsaber drawn. When he ignites his own lightsaber, Rey doesn't flinch, but right after showing a level of trust, the fight highlights their distrust by having them maintain eye contact for as long as possible as they turn. Kylo, with his back turned to Rey, doesn't react when he sees her lightsaber appear beside him. This shows his trust in Rey is growing. So far they've only trusted each other to not harm one another, but this moment here requires trust in actively helping each other. When Rey dispatches her last guard and throws her lightsaber to Kylo, she doesn't realize yet that she's disarmed herself. What if Kylo was thinking the enemy of my enemy is my friend? If his trust was based on having a common enemy that's now vanquished, Rey is now trapped in a room with Kylo, who has both lightsabers. It's at this moment that she realizes her trust may have been naive because Kylo's trust may have been nuanced. Now that is a tightly packed, well-written fight scene. Rey, I want you to join me. We can rule together and bring a new order to the galaxy. Don't do this, Rey. Please don't go this way. No, no, you're still... Holding on! Let's go! <laughs>